Got a question here from SDB. Hey mate, what's the best way to structure a subdivision loan for our backyard? Ooh, that's a good question. Firstly, if I was to do it, not financial advice. Get your existing bank or the new bank you're going to to do a valuation on the end security. So what end security means is what is the market value at the end of the subdivision. This means you need to speak to surveyors and get a preliminary plan of subdivision. Uh, get a survey and a draft plan. Now step two is you go to your existing lender or new one and propose that you want to do a substitution of security if you're going to the existing lender. However, you ask me what is the best structure? Well, it's very hard to say because there's not much specifics in your question. In this regard, I'll just give you a few tips. For example, for a subdivision, it can take up to 12 months to be registered and you need to decide in your backyard how many lots are you subdividing. The way it looks is that one block will hold the original title and then the second block will hold the new title. This is a big tip, original block will fall under the main residence exemption rule. Which means if you sell it, you don't get any capital gains tax. However, the second lot, if you're doing two lots, that won't be exempted. So it's best to hold it for 12 months, because the rule is if you hold it for 12 months minimum, you get 50% CGT discount. If you plan to sell it on the get-go, once the subdivision's been approved, you're gonna get 100% CGT tax on your uh, overall income. Another tip is don't cross collateralize, which basically means don't contaminate your debt. For example, your first lot would be under an occupied debt, assuming that this is your prime place of resident. And then the second lot will be under an investment debt. Don't try to get one loan for two of these lots. Make sure to portion off the new block to a new loan. This is for tax purposes. So it's easier for your accountant to calculate the interest against that new lot. So you can do you know, negative clearing and whatever like that. Summary, in your backyard, you'll subdivide another lot. Um, the banker or the valuer of the property would then give it a new value based on the proposed plan. Once this is approved, this lot will get a CT, which is a certificate of title. And then from there, I guess, Bob's your uncle, you can then do development on the lot or you can sell it. Uh, hopefully that answers your question.